China just launched its Geelong 3 rocket from a sea platform, successfully placing eight satellites into orbit all in a single mission. This isn't your typical launch Geelong 3 took off from the middle of the ocean off the coast of Shandong province, showcasing China's cutting-edge sea launch capabilities. The mission, which deployed satellites for Earth observation and technological verification, marks a major milestone in China's push to dominate the commercial space sector. With the flexibility of sea-based launches and the ability to reach optimal orbital positions, China is positioning itself as a key player in the competitive global space industry. So what does this mean for the future of space exploration? Let's break it down. The Geelong 3, also known as Smart Dragon 3, represents a new era for China's commercial launch capabilities. Developed by China Rocket, a subsidiary of the state-owned China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology CALT, this four-stage solid propellant rocket is designed for flexibility and cost efficiency. But what sets it apart? The Geelong 3 is approximately 31 meters tall and weighs 140 tons at liftoff, with a payload capacity of 1,500 kg to a 500 kilometer Sun Synchronous Orbit SSO. This makes it an ideal vehicle for placing small to medium-sized satellites into orbit. The use of solid propellants means it's easier to store and launch quickly, adding to its commercial appeal. The most intriguing aspect of this mission was its sea launch platform, located off the coast of Haiyang City in Shandong Province. Sea launches offer several advantages. They allow for greater flexibility in choosing launch locations, reducing the risk of debris falling over populated areas, and providing optimal launch conditions. Moreover, the ocean-based platform enables the rocket to be positioned closer to the equator, where the Earth's rotational speed helps rockets gain extra momentum, making launches more fuel efficient. This isn't China's first sea launch, but it's certainly one of the most significant. The Dongfang spaceport, where the launch took place, has previously hosted several other commercial rocket launches, such as the Long March 11th and Gravity One. The ability to conduct these launches from sea platforms signals China's intention to dominate the commercial space sector by offering a more versatile launch service. Overall, the Geelong 3C launch showcases China's technical prowess and innovative approach to space exploration. But how does this mission fit into China's broader strategy for space commercialization? This mission wasn't just about the rocket, it was about what the rocket carried. The Geelong 3's payload consisted of eight satellites, each with a unique purpose, illustrating the rocket's capability for diverse missions. These satellites include Tianye-41, Xingxidai-15, Xingxidai-21, and Xingxidai-22, Fudan-1, Tianyin-15, Yuxing-2, and Jishin Stara-01. But what's so special about these payloads? For one, these satellites were part of a rideshare mission, meaning multiple customers shared the cost of the launch. This is a growing trend in the space industry, as it allows companies to reduce expenses by sharing a single rocket. The diversity of these satellites, ranging from Earth observation to technology verification, highlights the increasing demand for specialized satellite services. For example, Tianyi-41 is designed for Earth observation, offering high-resolution imagery that can be used for environmental monitoring and resource management. Similarly, Fudan-1, developed by Fudan University, focuses on scientific research and environmental studies. Meanwhile, the Xingxidai series from Ada Space is involved in remote sensing and other commercial applications. But perhaps the most interesting payload is Yuxing-2, which also goes by the name Luojia-4 due to a sponsorship with Hitsat, Harbin, and Wuhan University. This satellite's dual naming reflects the collaborative nature of the Chinese space industry, where multiple stakeholders come together to share resources and reduce costs. The mission's success also reflects the reliability of the Geelong 3 rocket for deploying constellations of satellites. With a focus on Earth observation, remote sensing, and technology demonstration, these satellites will provide critical data for a wide range of industries, from agriculture and forestry to urban planning. By successfully deploying these satellites, China is not only meeting its own commercial space needs, but also positioning itself as a go-to-launch service provider for international customers. 
But what does this mean for the future of China's space program? The Geelong 3C launch is more than just a technical accomplishment, it's a strategic maneuver aimed at positioning China as a leading player in the global commercial space industry. With an increasing number of private companies and governments turning to space-based services for communication, Earth observation, and technology development, the commercial launch market is expected to see exponential growth. This launch marks a significant step in China's efforts to capitalize on this trend and become a dominant force in providing launch services for international clients. China's ambitions in the commercial space sector are largely driven by its state-owned aerospace giant, the China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, CASC. CASC is the main contractor behind the Geelong 3 rocket, which was developed by its subsidiary, China Rocket Company. Limited the Geelong 3 is a four-stage solid propellant rocket, standing at approximately 31 meters tall and weighing 140 tons at liftoff. It has a payload capacity of 1,500 kilograms to a 500 kilometer Sun Synchronous Orbit SSO, making it ideal for deploying small and medium-sized satellites. This capacity is particularly well-suited for deploying satellite constellations, which are becoming increasingly popular for applications like global internet coverage and remote sensing. The launch of Geelong 3 on September 23, 2024, was China's 44th space launch of the year, indicating a high launch frequency that rivals other major spacefaring nations, such as the United States and Russia. CASC has stated that it plans to conduct around 70 launches in 2024 alone, with an additional 30 launches planned by commercial entities. This ambitious launch schedule highlights China's determination to rapidly scale up its space operations and dominate the commercial space launch market. The Geelong 3's sea-based launch capability offers unique advantages over traditional land-based launches. The Dongfang Sea Platform, located off the coast of Haiyang City in Shandong Province, provides the flexibility to adjust launch locations based on orbital requirements, thus minimizing the risk of falling debris over populated areas. Furthermore, sea launches offer the ability to position the platform closer to the equator, which increases the rocket's payload capacity due to the Earth's rotational speed providing extra momentum. This flexibility makes the Geelong 3 an attractive option for international customers looking for reliable and cost-effective launch services. The Geelong 3's mission success also reflects the reliability and maturity of China's solid propellant rocket technology. Solid rockets like the Geelong 3 are favored for their simplicity, shorter launch preparation time, and reduced operational costs compared to liquid-fueled rockets. This efficiency makes the Geelong 3 a competitive option for launching small satellite payloads, particularly in the context of the growing demand for satellite constellations. The Geelong 3C launch was a defining moment for China's commercial space ambitions. With the successful deployment of eight diverse satellites, this mission showcased China's ability to conduct complex and cost-effective launches, even from a sea platform. This not only sets a new standard for China's commercial launch services, but also positions the country as a serious contender in the global space industry. Thank you for watching. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on the latest in space exploration and technology. See you in the next video.